Okay, so now we took out the final seat. We took out the little barrier that was there and the railing. You can see that we took out the wheel wells. We've been working to take out the passenger heaters, which if you look, we still haven't clamped the hoses off. We got it out, we drained the coolant, but down here, we're gonna have to connect these two hoses together. Um, and we haven't quite gotten to that yet. But today we are basically prepping. We're gonna pull the walls off and the ceiling out, but we are gonna leave this rubber flooring in. You realize that it's an aluminum bottom to the bus with plywood on top of that, and the plywood's pretty glued to the aluminum. And then this rubber on top, it all acts as a barrier. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna leave the rubber, we're gonna fill in all the holes from the seats with caulk, and then we're gonna build our floor on top of that. So today we're basically prepping everything that we can before we start tearing out the walls and floor. First, we're gonna go along the edge here. There's just a, a lot of like metal lips to things uh -huh. and edges, and we're just gonna go along and unscrew everything. And you'll see down the aisle as well, there's a metal runner that we're gonna unscrew and take out, but we'll leave the rubber down. Prior to today, when I would take screws out of the wall with a screw gun, this is how I did it. Get down close. I would take it one-handed, and I would fish around, and then I'd do it again. But, <laughs> this is really simple. If you use your other hand and guide it, because I have gloves on, so it's not going to hurt me. If you go, I don't know if you can get your weight behind you. Anyway. Time. <laughs>